Hello and welcome to the Awesome One Eighty Channel. I am Ashtin, Doctor, your Habit Coach, and today we're going to be talking about two very interesting things. In fact, while I was recording this video or preparing to record, somebody on Instagram just asked me, "Let's talk about this." So these are two burning needs, especially in a society right now. The first is self-confidence, and the second is self-esteem. Very often we mix up these two, and we feel that we don't have confidence, but actually we're talking about self-esteem. and very often self esteem gets left out of the window because we don't know how to word it so let's understand these two things and i will give you three habits for each of them that you can use to solve these problems right now so self confidence means self obviously confidence comes from the latin word to be secure in to completely trust in so the word confidence means the ability to completely trust Very often we don't have the ability to completely trust ourselves. We are constantly focusing on all the things that we cannot do, that we fail at doing, and as a result our self-confidence plummets. Instead, there's a very good technique that I want to teach you today. It is only focus on the things that you are good at doing. So if you're fantastic at painting, don't start singing, right? Double down on the painting. become even better and better and better at the painting skill that you have what happens when you do this your confidence increases because your ability to trust in yourself in the skills that you have when you're painting increases this way you start working on what you do well for example i do the podcasting very well right so i double down on that i try and use my voice as much as possible for it that builds in my confidence and we are always starved of this because we keep looking at others seeing what they are doing and then we wonder why we can't do what they are doing but we must realize that we all have our own skills things that we are good at learn what you're good at double down on it the second way to build self confidence is to start learning new new things very often you might not have figured out what it is that you're already good at i know many of you might be thinking saying that Ashton said figure out what you're good at but what am i really good at the best way of doing this is to learn different different things because the more things that you learn the more confidence you'll have in yourself finally my favorite way of growing confidence is to read books when you read a book you are basically transferring all the intelligence of the author all the knowledge of the author into your mind and nothing builds confidence by knowing more things than the people around you know i had completely stopped reading for many many years especially because there's such a stigma around reading reading means you have to do what you did in school right you are forced to read but as an adult you have a choice to read you're not forced to read so when i started reading it completely changed the way i would interact in meetings when i was making a presentation i would say you know what what you're talking about reminds me of what i read in this book i would quote the book and i would have a discussion about it it increased my self confidence because it increased my ability to know things okay so that trust in yourself grows when you read when you do online courses when you watch videos like this anything that is feeding you knowledge and information that you wish you had now notice self confidence comes from this external source your abilities to be able to do things right your ability to be able to do things for others self esteem is all about yourself it's all about what is going on internally it has nothing to do with your abilities it has everything to do with three aspects let's break it down the first aspect of self esteem is the kind of self talk that goes on in your head is there negative self talk continuously going on oh you can't do this you're good for nothing why are you even trying what is happening if that negative self talk is constantly there in your mind there is no way that you are going to have a good self esteem that negative self talk is rubbing away that self esteem that you have that that ability to hold yourself in a high regard because if you are constantly negative and pushing yourself down how can you hold yourself in a high regard so as a result focusing on the way that which you're talking to yourself are you speaking encouraging words do you stand in front of a mirror and say you know ashton good job congratulations on the ted talk that you did fantastic 
you know do we say these things to ourselves or do we look at it and say you know ashton you missed that point in that self talk i wish you had done this instead what is happening our negative self talk is getting the better of us so if you can figure this part out you will gain your self esteem right from there the second way to gain self esteem is through the principles that you create for your life okay confidence for your abilities as self esteem is principles principles means what i will not cheat i will not lie if somebody asks me to do something i will deliver it on time i will do what i say all these are fantastic principles in fact the stoic philosophers spoke so much about principles because they believe that the virtues of a man are based on the principles that he creates for himself so having your set principles knowing what your principles are is a great way to build self esteem for example one of my principles is service i am constantly looking at how i can be of service to people the youtube videos the podcasts all of them free why because i want to be of service so that is a very very important principle in my life and hence my self esteem goes up because i know i'm doing something worthwhile and i'm sticking to my principles if i don't do the youtube videos and i just say i want to be of service i want to be of service and don't end up doing anything you see what will happen to my self esteem it will drop so self esteem is about principles and the final thing that helps you with your self esteem are the people that you associate with the people in your life the people you surround yourself with if these people are constantly pushing you down you're not good enough why are you like this why can't you be like this all of that starts affecting your self esteem there are a few of us where it doesn't bother us but we're not talking about those superheroes i know how hard it is to have that negative self talk from others coming in and you trying to be positive at that point of time it's terrible it's emotional abuse if you can start creating an environment of people that are supportive that help you with your self esteem you will see a dramatic change taking place choosing your friends choosing the people that you spend time with is a great way of improving this self esteem that you have protect yourself do these six habits and i want to see your self confidence skyrocket if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do that but more importantly i would love it if you could share this video with at least five friends of yours because i know everyone is in the same boat as us self confidence down self esteem down and we want to live in a world filled with confident people filled with people with good self esteem i am ashton doctor your habit coach and remember awesome lives start with awesome habits